Today, we're gonna to take a moment to talk about eight wealth building mindset shifts that you need to make to build wealth today. Hi, I'm Joseph. And I'm Tasha with One Big Happy Life. And we make videos about how to find balance, build wealth, and live happy. Everything that you need to create the life that you want. This video is brought to you by our free live masterclass, The Ultimate Money Mastery Plan. How to save money and pay off debt faster without having to give up the things that you love in life. Now, this class is only going to be available for a short time, so head on over to OneBigHappyLife.com forward slash money plan to sign up. Now, we will be live with you, teaching you the strategies that you need to start building wealth for your best financial future. So don't wait. Head on over OneBigHappyLife.com forward slash money plan and join us for our class, and we'll be answering your questions live. You do not want to miss that, so make sure you sign up. Okay, if you've been telling yourself that you want to build wealth, but you just don't really think that you can, well, that's a mindset problem and we're going to help you out with these eight mindset shifts. Okay, number one, you can change your life. It is possible for you to make moves in your life that will help you build wealth and achieve those goals. So part of the battle is just convincing yourself, believing in yourself that you can make the changes that you want and need to. Second, you have to commit to your goal. You can't be wishy-washy with it and say, oh, well, maybe I don't actually want this because the key to building wealth, to achieving that financial success is being in it for the long haul. This is a process. This is a journey. Frankly, it's a journey that might take quite a big chunk of your life and that's okay. But once you commit yourself, then you start being willing and able to take those tiny daily actions, that dedicated, focused action, tiny, over a long period of time, will reap massive financial rewards for you. So commit to doing it and yeah. <laughs> so commit to the goal and stick to it. If you've been watching us from the beginning, we had our million dollars in debt video and there were so many naysayers. But because we were so committed, we just flew right by them, didn't give them you know, the time of day, and we just focused, hey, we knew we could do it. We could pay off the debts that we wanted to, and we could do all of that while investing and building our wealth. And sure enough, that commitment held us through. Third, you can grow your income. Now, when I was a 19-year-old single mom, making pregnant actually, making $14,000 a year with no, like no one to help support me, pregnant, no college degree, nothing. I had no idea how I was going to make it work, but I knew that I was gonna do it, right? I made that commitment. I said, I'm somehow, I'm gonna figure out how to grow my income, how to provide for this baby that I'm about to have, even though no one else believed that I would be able to do it. Well, fast forward 17 years later, here I am, a lawyer making six figures, and then also the owner of a six-figure business that now makes more than my day job and is about to become my day job. And so if I hadn't believed in myself back then that I could figure it out, I could find a way to go from where I was to where I wanted to be. If I didn't believe that I could grow my income, I would not be here right now talking to you guys, inspiring you to go out and do the same in your own lives. Number five, you can start investing to build wealth right now, regardless of how much money you're making. Now, I, I wanna focus on that. It doesn't really matter how much money you're making to start, as long as you get in that habit, because that's, that's one of the most important things, just getting in the habit of investing and savings early. So when we first started, we were making less than half of what we make now. So we were making $60,000 a year right out of law school, and we hadn't even met yet. <laughs> And at the time, 
I was also separating from my husband and so supporting again, Alexis as a single mom making $60,000 a year and now with six figures of law school debt. But I knew it was incredibly important for me to start saving and Joseph knew the same even though he also had six figures of law school debt. And so we committed to at least putting enough away in retirement to get the employer matching. So for us, that started off at something like $50 a paycheck is what we started putting away. And then year over year, as we would get raises, we would commit to putting some of that raise, not all of it, because we still wanted to be able to live a little and we still had other financial goals. So we would put a little bit more away every single year until now we get to the point where we started at $50 a month, and now eight years later, we have almost $400,000 sitting in our retirement accounts. And that's just amazing. Okay, this next one might blow your mind. You can be good with money. Not just good, but you can be great with money. If you've been telling yourself that you're just not a money person or something like that, don't stop listening to yourself when you say that. You can be good. All it takes is learning about money deciding that you want to know more about it. You want to practice with it. None of us were good with money from day one. We all had to learn it. So maybe our parents helped us along the way. Maybe that was great advice. Maybe that was okay advice. Maybe they didn't talk about it at all. Maybe it was a secret. It was kind of a secret for me. It was a secret for me too. My parents didn't teach me a thing about money. Also, my high school didn't really have like a personal finance class. Here are all the basics. Nothing like that. It wasn't until I actually went to the library and got online and started reading all of this personal finance information that I actually started to learn and get better and better with it. Yeah, I learned kind of trial by fire because I'm like, um, I've got a mouth to feed. I've got to figure out how this stuff works because uh, lives are on the line here. And so that's how I started to learn about personal finance. And then we both studied finance in undergrad and so we learned about personal finance there later on learned about a little bit about consumer finance in law school and then we went into finance related careers so i am a banking and finance attorney and practice consumer finance law and joseph does real estate finance work and so over that time we've developed i guess between us 30 years of expertise but the point is that we started out as newbies knowing absolutely nothing about how to even write a check not that anyone really uses checks anymore but we had to learn that once upon a time number seven it is not going to be effortless so we want you to embrace the growth and you know the the rockiness whatever you run into we want to you to really you know know that it's okay that it's not just gonna come easily or not everything is gonna come easily for you hopefully some things do but it's okay that you're going to have to work hard for this and that there's going to be some amount of you know the learning curve the time that it's going to take before you get where you actually want to be from where you are yeah when it comes to building wealth over the long run it not only requires education which we've talked about before but it also requires building daily habits that will actually set you up for financial success and just like how most of us didn't learn about money, we also didn't learn about good financial habits and good life habits that help contribute to us keeping more of our money. So like, for example, one of the things that we learned how to do that really help us financially is meal prep. So that minimizes how often we are eating out unintentionally, right? Like we still eat out and we still include some of that in our budget, but what we don't want to happen is that we're eating out just because we don't have any food. That is a waste of money. We eat out the cut for specific occasions. And so that is a habit that we needed to develop over time. But it certainly wasn't something that came easily to us. And so that's why we say, if you don't expect it to be easy, if you expect to have some growing pains, if you expect to feel, um, you know, maybe a little bit of frustration at times, because yes, you are changing fundamentally how you interact with the world. Of course, that's gonna feel uncomfortable, but that's normal. And actually, if you learn to accept it, you can come to enjoy it because you're like, I'm growing into the person that I wanna be. That is what this feels like. And so then you, you come to welcome that because you know you're growing. And last, let go of this idea that you must 
be perfect. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is not an all or nothing scenario. So if you're the kind of person that you know set up your budget, but anytime you break one category of your budget for whatever reason, you just give up altogether because it's not perfect anymore, don't worry about it. You can recover from those little things. You don't have to be perfect to make great progress. Just like I was saying that it just takes you know a little bit of money to start investing and about building that habit. Well, if you start with a few dollars today and then you forget next week, but you remember the week after that, well, that's still awesome. You saved two out of three weeks. You know, mm -hmm. that's not perfect, but it's great. And to kind of use our own lives and exam of an example of sort of what's not perfect, I'll say quote unquote not perfect, is because people will tell you avoid debt at all costs. Well, over the course of our channel, you've seen us increase our debt and then pay off some debt and then take on some more debt and then pay that debt off. And so what that is, is imperfect progress, right? We use debt strategically and we always have a debt payoff plan in place. But what that means is, you know, our net worth will go up and then it'll drop a little bit and then go up and then it'll drop a little bit. But generally the trajectory is this, they're just kind of little blips in between. And so that is imperfect progress, but imperfect progress is still progress. Okay, so we hope that you take all of these mindset shifts to heart and make them if any of them really apply to you and just go out there and just know that you can be the person that you want to be. And if you want to go deeper with us on these things and learn more about how you can build on these strategies to grow your own wealth and create the life that you want, then we really encourage you to head on over to onebigheavylife.com forward slash money plan and sign up for the ultimate money mastery plan so that we can have a chat with you, do that live Q&A and give you even more tools to help you build your best financial future. We are so looking forward to that class. Please sign up. It is going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye.